Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. This is our instantly out of the theater reaction to Venom, La The Last Dance. The Last Dance. And there was a last dance. And there was dancing. <laughs> and some lasting. Thoughts? <laughs> um, I would say that this, I like this one probably the best out of the three. Um, if you watched our other two <laughs> reviews, the, the first one we were pretty pretty lukewarm on um the second one we thought was better um and this one i think is t for me was the best out of the three i agree i agree um the my complaint about the first one was not getting the eddie and venom bickering back and forth and most of this movie is about eddie and eddie and uh venom just talking to each other and, and bickering back and forth and fighting over things and fighting over the body and playing slots. <laughs> and I'm and I'm here for that story. Um, some people complaining about this movie doesn't make any sense. I don't think it's supposed to. I think you're supposed to go in and have fun with this. I don't think any of them made sense. To me, none of them made sense. Right. These are, these are. Let's t let Tom Hardy be h funny, and have some fun in the theater, and that's exactly what this was. So I had that expectation as I walked in the door. Just go have fun with it, because there's some continuity errors errors that I found, which I never go looking for in the first viewing. Now the seventh viewing or the twentieth viewing or whatever, then I'll pick it up. But there was some stuff that happened, and I'm like, that's not quite right. But I don't care. The joke makes is better because they took the right version. And if the continuity in the background wasn't quite right, it doesn't matter. The joke landed with me. Yeah. I, you know, it's, um, it's Sony being Sony. I mean, there was... Uh, Several, not all at least, but several of the biggest jokes, you know, you saw in the trailers over and over and over again. Um, some of it got kind of moved around a little bit or not quite the way you saw it in the, in the trailer. So that was good. Um, and they definitely, uh, they need to fire their entire editing company. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Because <laughs> there, yeah, there was some some parts where I was like wait what? <laughs> and and to be completely transparent one of the best edited things we've ever watched we watched last night in Agatha all along <laughs> mm. so that was all in our heads going into this and it didn't detract the for the movie for me now am I going to give this a big score and say it's amazing and all of that stuff no but I'm going to have a lot of fun when I go watch it again and yeah. and and that's a big deal for us. In our scores, rewatchability gives it a higher score than if we watch Folly Ado once and see an amazing performance. We're not going to go back to that movie. Yeah. <laughs> and not because of what the critics say. It's just it's just a rough movie to watch. Yeah. Uh, just subject matter wise. Yeah. Um, but the CGI all holds up. The story is it makes pretty much sense. The my my one. Big, 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 giant, huge issue is that road is not that dark when you're going through the pass to go into Vegas. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I was like, are they ever going to get there? <laughs> Why are they on this dark, dark road? Dark, dirt, dark <laughs> dusty, no light of anywhere. <laughs> that is and not the road to Vegas. pan back over the hill. That hill is lit up. Just like, yeah, that's... <laughs> We've Such been to a, Vegas huge, a bunch, bunch of, of times. times. <laughs> I've been through that pass a bunch of times. Uh, but I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, I'd, I would say, as fans that we are, to tell you, you're going to have fun with this movie. If you are looking for Citizen Kane or The Joker or something like that, this is not that movie for you. And as long as you understand that, save your money, go see Wicked. Yeah, I mean, if, or Gladiator. Yeah, if you don't have a lot of options to go to movies, 
this may not, you know, you may not be super excited that you used it on this one. Um, I, we did have some kids. We went, this is Thursday, Thursday night. So opening night, there were some kids in the audience. It's not a, it's not bloody. I mean, it's the same as the other, but there is some cursing that, um, I mean, they dropped an F-bomb once. They so. used the perfect one F-bomb you get yeah. for PG-13. <laughs> it was so well done. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was fun. We'll probably watch it again. Um, don't talk in the movie theater, people. <laughs> Both sides of Both us sides. talked very loudly through Both. the entire movie. And everybody had very deep voices, so yeah. they all carried very well in our yep. theater. Yep. Score! Uh, 6.75. 7. So we're in the same kind of ballpark. I'm interested to watch this again just to see the things we missed. There is one mid credit scene and one post credit scene. I have no idea what either of them mean. I'm going to go Google it right I, now. <laughs> uh, and one thing I'll tell you before uh, we get out of here is uh, go read Marvel Comics Kingdom Black. And until next time, cult members, let us know what you thought of this uh, review in the comments down below. Please be nice. It's a requirement. That's a requirement. That, be nice around here. That's a requirement. Hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the bits. Free helps us. I got to go to bed. Do the things. Do the things. And until next time, cult members, good afternoon, good evening, good night now.